how often do you create an appointment and then reschedule it because something else seems better to you or something else is more convenient that day for you? And thinking about rescheduling, it's the same as rearranging the clutter in your house. So instead of actually making decisions about the things in your way, you're just moving them out of the way for now and kicking it down the road. It's the same thing that happens with scheduling because our calendars are actually a container for how we're gonna spend our time. You get to define it and you need to spend some time creating the, the containers for the different kinds of work you need to do in your day, whether it's um, you know, cooking dinner and doing laundry, or whether it's meeting with CEOs and, and having sales calls, whatever it is, you need to figure out what you're going to spend your time on so that you get the results that you desire. I once um, was onboarding a new client. We were trying to figure out when we were going to start and um, I suggested, you know, would you rather work mornings or afternoons? And she said, oh, it doesn't matter. And I said, great, how is there a day of the week that works better for you? And she said, no, it doesn't matter. And then I said, great, my schedule is open the next time on a Thursday at 10 a.m. How does that work for you? And she said, oh, well, mm, I have some things scheduled. I've got a doctor's appointment. I gotta go to the CPA. I gotta do this other thing and pick up this, um, but I can rearrange those and, and work with you. And it made me laugh. It was like, let's inconvenience 12 other people to do this thing, or we can look at next Thursday when you don't have all those things on the calendar, right? So not everything has to happen right now, right here. It can be spread out at a time you designate that will get your full focus and attention on that. And along those same lines, you can start determining what days of the weeks you're gonna schedule certain kinds of appointments. That way you always know where to look on your calendar when you go to schedule those things. I only do doctor's appointments and haircuts and like appointments outside of my office on Tuesday mornings. And so when someone says, what's a good day for you? I can always say Tuesday morning, when's the next available Tuesday morning or the one closest to eight weeks from now. And then it gets easier and I know what to expect and my brain is already pre-supposing that I'm going to be in the mood to do that thing at that time because I usually do those kinds of things at that time. It's trick. You're saving time because your brain already knows what's going on. You're, you're kind of ensuring your success to a greater level because your brain is already wrapping its head around the certain things you're going to do on certain days. I filmed this TV show on Monday, on it's not Monday, it's Friday, <laughs> Friday mornings, right? So I know I'm in the mode to be a little more amped up on Friday mornings, and I just get that way. Um, Mondays are a little more laid back. It's a combination of chores and working on my bills and getting things ready for the week, and I'm in the mood to do that because I've determined that that's the day I'm going to do that. Is this starting to make sense? It's about you making a commitment on your calendar, putting it in that time and space, and then sticking to it. The worst that can happen is you say, oh, I've already got something I'm committed to during that time. Can we do it at this other time? And you go from there. It doesn't have to be you always caving in to someone else's desire for what time you're going to work with them or see them. Um, and this applies to yourself as well. When you make a commitment to yourself and you write something on your calendar and you're always overwriting it because someone else has a need, what if that need could wait 30 minutes? What if you could do your yoga and then still get your kid a juice box in a few minutes or change out the video? What if you could still reply to that email 30 minutes from now with a clearer understanding of, of what the response should be because you've cleared your brain doing the yoga, right? So this is what we're looking for. Once it's on the calendar, it should be a commitment, whether it's to yourself or someone else. It can always be temporary. It doesn't mean you're never gonna be available. It means you're not available during that time in that space um, on that day. So think about that when you're doing the schedule. It's faster to schedule something and stick with it than to rearrange a whole bunch of other things because your brain won't be in the mode of working on those things when you start rescheduling.